All right, give it another maybe 15 minutes. You can see that it's still not fining on the face. Is everything okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. What is wrong with your face? What do you mean what's wrong with my face? Fix it. Stop that. Okay? If you are not fine, just say. Exactly. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-mm. We are going to arrive at 2 o'clock and then you decide to arrive at quarter to 3. On whose time? Mm. Continue doing your black time on your own time. But me, if you told me to arrive at 3, I'm there at 3. But now if you talk about now you cuddly shit, oh my god, stop touching me, man. I don't know where them hands are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this a little bit violent? Is it a me thing? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is I, straight from the house of Ashy, okay? My hands are a little bit ashy and we don't have time. We don't have time, there's a lot going on today. Thank you so much for being here. It is another video. I haven't sat in this chair in maybe literally over three weeks, okay? I've been pre-recording quite a lot of content and uh, the only time I switch a camera on is when I'm vlogging. So this might be a little bit rusty. Yeah, I know what I'm saying, but I wanted to start off with a really fun video because I just feel like, you know, there's so many things that we like in the world. Oh, do me a favor because hello, we're here. So please do subscribe and join the channel. Thank you so much. I've got over 2000, maybe 2400 new subscribers in the month of October. And I was just like, what? What do you even mean, bro? So thank you so much to all of you who are here, new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. As always, you know, I always say this. Thank you for choosing me over and over and over again. So as I was saying, this is the beginning of the video. These are things that I do not like. These are things that people do that actually really bother me. And I want to, I, I really want your perspective on this one because, you know, we, we celebrate what we like about people. We celebrate what we like about ourselves. We celebrate things that we like generally so much that a lot of the time we forget to talk about the things that we don't like. Okay. I wanted us to have a little bit of a chat. I wrote down a list. I was on TikTok and I was just like, this bothers me. This bothers me. Like I would go through certain TikToks and be like, I don't like this. I don't like this or I agree with this, right? So yes, I am on TikTok quite a lot. It actually gives me ideas for my videos and I love it for us. Really, really love it for us straight from Ashy. So we're going to talk about the things that I do not like. Before we do that, take a little bit of a sip de sip, you know? This could just be me, but this could also be all of us. I really don't like it if you are somebody that I'm really close with and I get on with you and we're cool, like we, we're vibing, we all of that. I really don't like it when people take forever to respond to my messages. I, I just, maybe it's a me thing. Maybe give but it's just maybe a me thing, but I really don't like it, especially if you and I are really close. Like we're friends, family members, and let me tell you, somebody who goes by the phrase, my ultimate fave, oh my gosh. You can text that girl, she will respond the following day, and you are texting her a joke and a meme, and she, the very next day, over 18 hours later, she'll be like, ha, 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 this is so funny. And I'm just like, Ah, what a fun, man. Ah, eh. Oh, what? Moment's gone, bro. Moment's gone, bro. Like, no one cares, okay? At this point, the ship has done sailed. Why are you not responding? Like, this is a moment. This is me trying to engage you. I don't even like engaging people. So at this point, I'm gonna need you to reciprocate the behavior. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. And let me tell you, I am a practicer of what I preach, okay? So if you are somebody that I'm close with and everything, yeah, man, don't expect me to respond within two, five minutes, especially if I'm at work or I'm just go somewhere, I'm doing something, something very nice. Don't, but if I'm, but if I'm close to you, 
man, within the next maybe 15, 20 minutes, I've responded to you. If I am not busy, I'm responding pretty much instantaneously. So don't do that to people that you love because then you don't love them. Why bona madita? You don't love them. Ah, the one of this one irks my nuts, my non-existent nuts. Okay. This one really, really irks me. People who don't value punctuality. I do not see you arriving 30 minutes late because you were doing your makeup and because this, that, and the other as a flex or as something that is an ex excusable. It's not excusable. You are late. Especially when you're going to like fancy events, man, you're going to an occasion where people are going to be giving speeches, people are going to be talking, people are going to be enjoying, there's, there's, there's an agenda, there's an itinerary, you know, you know what I'm saying? Don't, no, it's not cute, it's not cute. Five, ten minutes, yeah, fifteen minutes because, you know, traffic, it happens. You know what I'm saying? But then if you're arriving 30, 45 minutes, an hour later, bye, bye. And especially, especially the only people that I will wait for, but they will get a good grilling from me the moment that they arrive. The only people I'll wait for is family or friends. Man, I won't even wait for Diesel that long. I'll just be like, you know what? Let's just cancel this. We'll do it another time. Because at this point, you are not respecting me. You not valuing the fact that we had said we are going to arrive at two o'clock and then you decide to arrive at quarter to three. On whose time? Just because you can do those things out of my little masabata and all of that does not mean that shit's gonna fly here. It definitely will not fly. So I just don't get it's it's not and people use it as a reasoning to, you know, grand entrance. Nothing, there's nothing grand about arriving 45 minutes late unless you are the star of the show unless it is your wedding day you are a keynote speaker even when you are a keynote speaker because this is important it shows it's 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 respectful right to the people who have invited you to become a keynote speaker so why in the world are you arriving late mm. continue doing your blood time on your own time but me if you told me to arrive at three i'm there at three and if the thing is going to start at five, I'm sorry, I missed it. Here's your gift. Here's your gift, but I'm sorry, I'm going to miss it because I got somewhere else to be right now. Exactly. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Being told I'm fine. You know, when you have a fight with a friend, family member, lover, you know, and you have a little bit of a disagreement with them. And then the next thing they do is they respond with, I'm fine. Okay, all right, give it another maybe 15 minutes. You can see that it's still not fining on the face. Is everything okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, give it another maybe 30 minutes. Still hasn't changed the behavior. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Stop that, okay? If you are not fine, just say. Just say it. Smoseso. Okay, just say, no, I'm not fine. I'm not grand, bro. And also then follow it up with, I'm not fine. But at this moment, I don't care to speak about it. Um, can, we, can you just at least give me a little bit of time? I need to just digest what's going on. I need to digest everything. I don't care to speak about it at this moment. That is mature. That shows emotional intelligence. You want this business here or I'm not fine. And then expect Mutu is going to take a take around you or bang bang an elwena. Right, like you're a piece of cake that is shared between five people. Miss me. Miss. Shit. It's cold water in here. You can miss me with that. I'm really not trying to just tell me you're not fine. But if you're going to say I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, then what is wrong with your face? What do you mean what's wrong with my face? Fix it. Fix it. If you are fine, fix your face. Maybe go somewhere, transform yourself, maybe do something. Do something that's going to make you happy or at least change that gorilla look on your face. Because at this time, uh-uh, how -uh. are you? Yeah, one well, of this one, it's a bother for me. You know when you talk down to someone, you talk down, you talk condescendingly. 
you know, you use this flowery language. Like right now I'm reading Jada's book and I'm just like, man, you are talking to a grown up. Talk to me like you're talking to a grown up. Like when somebody's like, okay, listen, listen, I just want you to just open up your mind to this. Um, it, it might be a little bit tricky. Yes, maybe you don't, you, we don't perceive things the same way. And well, I am 36. <laughs> I okay. I can, I, I know the value in opening up my mind and broadening up my mind to hear different perspectives. But now if you're going to talk to me and then you're going to lower your voice. So listen, I don't want to fight. Okay. But I really do think you need to consider this because maybe you're not really concerned. Do not talk to me like I am a child. I understand. I am not a child. I'm 36 years old. I'm not a kid. I'm very well aware that we're going to have disagreements. I'm very well aware that there may be things that I do not understand. But if you're talking to me like you're talking to Khanya, like you're talking to the Jeezy, this is the Jeezy. I'll show you who the Jeezy is. If you're going to talk to me like I'm the Jeezy, miss me. Miss me. I, you're not going to talk to me like I'm five. How old is she? Just nine? What is she, 12? Look, she's 13 going on 35. At this point, you're not going to talk to me like that. I hate it. It grinds me. It grinds me. And then you're going to add little terms of endearment in the middle of it and be like, so listen, hun. So, love, listen. Honey, don't the... Hey! Just talk to me like I'm a grown-up. This is a nothing. I don't have to... You don't have to remind me or no, or eh, eh, listen, I just want, no, hey, just talk. Just Big talk. crowds. I think we need to talk about this. Big crowds. Body DXT delicious. Body concept. It's annulling like 30,000 people. The only time I can stand a big crowd is if I'm watching a sports game. It must typically be a soccer game. Or a, 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 what is this called? A rugby game. But best believe I'm going to have some earplugs in there. That's the only time I will really struggle through going through a crowd. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Even the concerts that I attend, when you know, you know. When you know me, you know that I prefer the little intimate settings. Like the time I went to Manana's thing. It's very intimate. It's very small. Small peoples. Big crowds. You got the wrong one. If you're trying to friend me and you know at that time you, you're a crowd kind of person, you, got the, you have the absolute wrong one. Can tell you that for free. Mm -mm. It's dirty. It's stinky. And I feel like I don't, I don't want to breathe. You know, you know with, with Corona, and I'm not talking about the beer, but I feel like I just don't want to breathe because I'll come back and I'll have caught something. That is the thing. Get the hotel, get cool, get hot, sunny. Get to work, get it. S S Z vibe. What bed flu, chicken eggs, everything. And now at this point, I'm just like, where did I get it? I got it there. I got it in the riff riff of. Well, excuse me. Oh my god. Eh uh eh. -uh. Next thing, someone is stepping on my shoes. Next thing, somebody has spilled beer on me. Ugh. No. Tamayang. <sighs> But Tamayang Libo Sipo, Tamayang Libo, Yabona, all them people with those beautiful names, Botandi, Tamayang, Tamayang, Kofi, Lerato, live your best life. In fact, you don't even have to invite me. It's fine. I don't want the invite. I'm not going to feel some type of way if I see you guys all over there doing your thing. Like, I, I need space, man. I need breathing room. I need breathability. It's not a word. But you hear my chat. Here's another one that I just thought about now. Especially when it comes to this crowding thing. Personal space. I do not like it when my personal space is invaded. Yeah, but if you're... Extension of my arm. And you're somewhere within that. Why? Why? Well, I'm not trying to smell that you've got a nice, wonderful perfume on. I'm not trying to smell... I'm not trying to get close to you. The only time a physical touch that I like, it's the intimate kind. It's the intimate kind, man. Outside of that, no, no, no. I give you a hug and then I'm going to need my personal space. Okay? If we're sitting next to each other at the restaurant, that's fine. We ain't trying to touch each other. But now if we go back to our again, our cuddly shit, oh my God, stop touching me, man. 
I don't know where them hands have <laughs> been. I'm sorry. Is this a little bit violent? Is it a me thing? <laughs> is it a me thing? Because it, if it is, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Stop touching me. Don't like, like personal space. You know, Corona, and again, not the beer, taught us about personal space. Hey man, it taught us about to, it was the best time of my life. You know, with Coco, when Coco was around, it was the best time of my life because you know why? Ne? Banks, queues at shops. You know those little markings they had on the floor, like Emamo, Wena, Masabata, Emamo. You stand here, Cynthia. Okay, at this point, do not move yourself any closer to Katewo, Wena, Chantel. Don't do that. Yeah, understand? That it's the kind. That it's the kind of distancing that I absolutely loved. I lived for that. Oh my God, I lived for it so much. I loved it so much. Oh my God. So please don't invade personal space. Please respect people's personal spaces. And then you're going to come in and a hug and a ha 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 hey, hey ha ha way, man. No, man. And then at some point, there's some people, then this spit comes out of their mouth. And, ah! and then you feel like you need to take a shower. <laughs> Video calls. Video calls. Why? The only time I will take a video call, it's when I'm on a Teams session, taking a session, meeting, session class. That is the only time, or therapy. That is the only time I will allow a video call. Why are you calling me? And on top of that, why are you calling me with a video? What are you trying to see? And at this point, again, why did you not ask for my permission? Before you decided to call me. Oh no, I called you because I miss you. I don't care what you miss. Text me then. Because personally, even with me and my personality and my traits and all of that, I don't even like calls, period. Now you want to one-up me and video call me? What is this? <laughs> yeah. Not even my family members video. Okay, now lady does, man. She does. She will video call me from the bathroom. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just be like, girl, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I'm in the toilet. Listen, I want it. That's fine. That is fine because I have seen her naked. I have seen her when she came out of the womb. I was there. Now, I wasn't in the hospital room, but you hear my chat. I was there. I've been cleaning her. I've been cleaning her. Okay, so it's okay when she video calls me, whether I will answer or not, it's, 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 it's my choice. But if you're a random friend, I don't even care, like I said it, even if you're a random friend, why are you doing that? Respect me. Why are you video calling me? What do you want to see? What are you unsure about that you want to see about me what, because you are doing the because of video calling? What do you want to see? Don't do that. That's rude. And it's my phone. So then don't get mad at me, okay? Don't get mad at me when I Valencia just because I didn't answer your call. It, it's my phone. People that act nice to your face. And when the moment you have your back, back turned, your burk, okay? The moment you have your back turned, ah, it's a party. It's a free for all where they are talking about you like you don't know it. They just wait for a whiff. Of your perfume have your back turned and they already irk me people like that don't act nice to me don't have this pretentious nice face where i'm just like you're looking like you got a glitch on your face you're looking like the second it's not there's a bolt there's a bolt um that it's missing you're looking like the second the the the, the, the fuses and fusing what is wrong? What's happening to your face? You know how people that don't, they just smile like. What, what's not. <laughs> what is not fusing? What is happening in your brain? How can I help you? Oh my God. Well, you dropped on your head as a kid. Don't act nice to my face if you don't want to. Just be polite. Greet. Hello. Take a smile. Call it a day. That is all I'm asking you for. But do not act nice to my face. 
Don't do that. Don't act nice to my face and then go around and then talk trash. And not think it's going to get back to me. Because me, you want to record I serve. The ancestrals that I walk with, everything comes back. I share it does. Yo, I will be told, Ria, and Avela, Ubuila, so come here. And then this, this, I'm like, mm. I hope they got to sleep at night. Because the fact that they went and speak, spoke, speaketh about me must really say I, I, I'm doing something right, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so this business of leaving people out just because they don't fit the expectation of what you want from them. Weak. Weak. Mm -mm. It's weak. Why? The whole beauty about different people is diversity, right? They're going to be very different from you, okay? But just because they don't dress the way your cool kid friends from Bramfontein dress, and he, she, or he, or they dress like Steve Urkel, now it's a problem? Now you're not going to invite them to your little functions and shenanigans and things? Why? Just because they don't meet your expectations? Where are you born? It's 2023. Diversity is what screams 2023. In terms of people, we love to see the people who are drawing, you know, and they go to the Afropunks and they got different uh, uh, outfits on and whatever, just diff dress very different. But because me, I dress a certain type of way, you're not going to invite me because I don't meet my expectations. Wako. In terms of the way I dress, gashle mbali, gashle, gashle. And I have a friend called Mbali, one of my best friends. <laughs> The last one is going to be people invalidating my feelings. I really don't appreciate this. I don't like this. People who not only invalidate my feelings, just people who invalidate other people's feelings. Like you might come back and you're coming back from something that to them is so small, but you are so excited about this. You want to talk about this. You want to throw your toys out the cot about this. You are so excited about this and they act like as a nothing. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Oh, that's ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yo, that's nice. But are you sure, Hori? It's right. Oh, okay. No, that's nice. Hey, hi, man. The people who invalidate, even when you're feeling sad, even when you're mad. Somebody calling you sensitive. Hey, now you're just being too sensitive. Is someone invalidating your feelings? Why? Who are you to tell me that I'm too sensitive? And if I am too sensitive, what business of it is yours? Huh? What business of it is yours? What business of yours is it? You're not going to invalidate my experiences. You're not going to invalidate how I feel about something. Whether I'm excited about it, whether I'm sad about it, whether I'm, you're just not going to do that. Okay? You're just not going to do that. There's certain things that some of y'all do, and I'm going to call you out before I end this video. There's certain things that some of y'all do. You guys know I don't like the phrase kitty cat. You know I don't like it. It's one thing to just... Uh, from my sister but I don't like it and people seem to call me that all the time and it actually really frustrates me because why are you calling me that I don't so why are you calling me that yes that one it's a problem because she forgets sometimes and she'll say it out loud and whatever I literally just ignore her often a lot of the times when she says that I'll just give her a look she's like oh my god I'm so sorry kitty but I don't like it. And I realize that people invalidate how I feel about that by constantly calling me that either way, even though they know that I don't like it. Would you like it if your name is Shannon to be called Sharon? Or Sharon, for Shannon. Exactly. Hear my chat. So don't ex invalidate people's experiences and their uh, 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 feelings on something. It, it's not your place to do such. Let me hear what you think, okay? Tell me about some of the things that bother you, that people do consistently all the time, that literally just grinds you the 
if up i really would love to know and if you did enjoy this video let me know down below actually okay if you did enjoy the video let me know down below if you got this far in the video put an emoji of a star because at this point i'm a star and you watching this are a star thank you so much for choosing me over and over again until the next one thank you see you cheers and sayonara